During ESMO 2023, I presented the results from the Tropian Lung 01 study. The clinical question here is one that stood for decades. Can we do better than docetaxel for our patients in second line uh, chemotherapy in the advanced metastatic setting for non-small cell lung cancer? And to evaluate that, we looked at a novel antibody drug conjugate targeting trope 2 called DATO-DXD and evaluated in directly head-to-head -head with docetaxel. Patients were enrolled irrespective of histology, whether they had a targetable mutation or trope to expression level, all patients were enrolled. We then evaluated and randomized one-to-one -one approximately 300 patients in each arm and evaluated for potential efficacy. The trial had two dual primary endpoints, uh, meaning that if either of the primary endpoints were positive, the trial was positive. One of the primary endpoints was progression-free survival and the other was overall survival. During my presentation at ESMO, I presented the uh, progression-free survival, the final analysis in the intention to treat population and statistically significant benefit was seen across all patients uh, with a hazard ratio of 0.75, a median PFS of 4.4 months in the DATO DXD treated patients compared to 3.7 in the docetaxel patients. However, when we looked a little closer, we actually identified that there was a clear divergence in terms of this benefit by histology. The non-squamous patients had a hazard ratio of 0.63 and almost two months longer, median progression for free survival, almost three times the objective response rate. The squamous patients actually did not have an improvement. The hazard ratio was greater than one. So this really appears to be a superior therapy in the patients with non-squamous histology, both with and without actionable genomic alterations. The other dual primary endpoint on trial was overall survival. At the interim time point for overall survival, there was a trend in favor of DATO DXT. And when we look a little closer, we see that, that the most benefit was in those non-squamous patients that derived the greatest PFS benefit as well. So the safety data is obviously important to contextualize the efficacy data that I've shared. And what we saw was a better safety profile with DATO DXT compared to docetaxel. There was a low number of treatment related adverse events experienced by patients uh, in the grade three or higher setting with DATO DXD compared to docetaxel. And we see that patients were generally better to, able to tolerate the drug. There are some unique toxicity of DATO DXD that practitioners need to be aware of, including mucositis and stomatitis, but those were typically low grade and well managed. We know that DXD ADCs such as trastuzumab, droxetecan do have interstitial lung disease associated with them. And we did see that with DATO DXD, but at low rates that I believe are manageable and do not preclude our ability to give the drug. So in conclusion, I think that combining the efficacy data specifically in the non-squamous population with a tolerable safety profile, DATO DXD represents a new option for our patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with non-squamous histology in the second line setting after progression on chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapies. Thank you.